Dude, the margarita is the king of mixed drinks, right? Is it? No. <laughs> Modern Road makes a spicy Texas margarita. If you're in Texas and you're drinking and you're not drinking beer, what are you drinking? It's gotta be a margarita, right? It's a margarita, yes. Now, okay, now when I think of a margarita, it's always like you pour in the tequila, you pour in the mix and you're done. It's a margarita. A lot of people would do that, but Trevor is going to show us the error of our ways. Oh, by the way, yeah, back again in an undisclosed location, the best secret bar in all of Austin with Trevor. Yes. How you doing? Now the history of the margarita, again, no one really knows exactly where and when it was conceived. Everyone has their own story, but one of the most commonly accepted ones is that in the early 20th century in Ensenada, Mexico, there was a bartender, he was experimenting with drinks, and the daughter of a German ambassador walks into this bar in Ensenada and tries out one of these experiments. She likes it, and he names it after her. The margarita. Oh, so it's like a fairy tale, but with alcohol. My favorite the best kind. kind of fairy tale, yeah. Yes. Okay, so have I been making margaritas wrong my entire life? You don't just use the mix? Like, I don't know how to make one from scratch. It's pretty easy. Really, all you need is tequila, lime juice, a little bit of simple syrup. You want a little bit of sugar in there, and some salt, and maybe a little bit of orange flavoring. You've got a margarita, but we're in Texas, so today we're gonna do a spicy margarita. Spicy margarita, I'm in. There are a lot of, like, heathen recipes for this, where it's like, Take limeade, pour in tequila. You have a margarita. I mean, technically, right? Did you see the, did you see the sneer on his face? <laughs> it, it was like somebody just pooped their pants. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> All right, walk us through it, man. I've got some pre-cut uh, serrano peppers here, and you want to cut them thin. You don't want them too thick. It can really add too much spice to the drink. So you want to take two to three. I'm going to put them in the tin. We're going to pour just like about a quarter ounce of fresh lime juice here. Just a dash, essentially. And now we're going to muddle it, just to try to get those oils. Now, how muddled are you making You're it? You're just pressing it. Just, just enough to kind of squeeze out those essential oils. Yeah, you don't want to crush it up too much. Then we're going to add uh, one and a half ounces of silver tequila here. Today we're using Espelon. What is the difference between gold tequila and silver tequila? The way it's aged, there's barrel aging yeah. and the amount of sugar that's also put in it. Now, does it matter the quality of tequila that you put into the margarita? Yes and no. Once you get into like higher levels of tequila, you don't necessarily want to put it in a margarita because then you're just, you're spending $20 on a margarita. Something like this, you know, this is kind of a mid-level tequila. You can get this just about anywhere. Sometimes when I get a margarita, they'll ask if I want top shelf. I intentionally take the house because otherwise if it's too high a quality alcohol, it stops tasting like alcohol, at right? Some, at some point, yeah. Like Don Julio 1942, it tastes like you're sipping caramel. It's amazing. I would not want to waste that in a margarita. On a mixed drink. Okay, so we've got the muddled serrano peppers, we've got lime juice, what else? And we've got one and a half ounces of tequila in there. Now we're going to add this Texas orange liqueur. It's just gonna give a little bit of flavoring to it. What are some of the other more common uh, liqueurs that you can put in there? Well, uh, the other one we're gonna put in is Cointreau. Oh, you're gonna do both? Yes. Okay. Right on. So you're, this is gonna have a blast of spice and orange in it. And again, we're just putting about a half ounce in there. We're gonna shake this all together. And like any time that we uh, make drinks with citrus, you know, we're gonna shake. Now, now I noticed you're shaking longer than I would expect, so I assume that you want the ice to break apart and dilute the mix a bit. Yes, essentially. Rinse this out. Now here's the important step here. Because of those serrano peppers, you don't want those seeds to get into the drink because it, it, it will really just overpower the drink. Yeah. So we're gonna double strain this drink. So you take a fine mesh strainer over the glass. So this way we just get that kind of yeah, essence that, of the serrano peppers. None that way of the no actual pepper stuff. or seed come in there. And if you look. Yeah, wow, I've we cut a this. lot. That's amazing. Mm -hmm. Okay. Now we are going to add ice to the drink. And to top this off and add a little bit more flavor, we're going to take some main root ginger beer. Oh, oh wow. wow. And it's going to add even more spice to the drink. So how much ginger is there in the ginger brew? Have you never had one of the main root ginger brews? It's spicy. This is delightful. <laughs> right? This is gonna be an amazing margarita. And it's so gingery, it will knock the fillings out of your teeth. That's great. So this is a much more elaborate margarita than I would have expected, but I'm gonna try it. Yeah, yeah go for it. I'm gingery. not afraid. Now this is interesting. Does it matter whether or not you use the straw? I put the straw in there just in case you don't want the salt. Wow. It's almost like a Moscow Mule. This is gonna sound super pretentious, but that is a really diverse flavor profile. All right, I'm gonna do with the salt. 
that serrano hits you right up front. Yeah, I and then you taste the ginger. That. Yeah, it's like it's all there. That is a much more complex tasting margarita than I've ever had. If you did not tell me this was a margarita, I would not think it's a margarita. All I know is that it's spicy. It's got some bite up front. It's got just enough sweetness that it's easy to to process. Uh, you don't taste the alcohol. Like that little bit of serrano completely masks the alcohol side. Wow. Okay, so we have some lime juice, muddled serranos, tequila some Contro and some orange liqueur, topped with ginger brew. I, I don't think I've ever tasted a margarita quite like this. Does this have an official name? Gary's Fire Crotch Margarita. Wait, what? Wait, is it really? <laughs> is it really Gary's Fire, Fire Crotch, Crotch margarita? margarita? Smart move to wait until after we drank it to give us the name. <laughs> oh, God! Oh, God! <laughs>